गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स लेट्स डिस्कस अ वेरी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिच इज ऑफ अ डेड स्टॉक ऑफ कोर्स यू माइट बी थिंकिंग इज अ वेरी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट बट लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग वंस यू हैव अ एक्सपीरियंस ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू टेंड टू फॉरगेट द बेसिक्स सो इट इज ऑल नेसेसरी टू रिमेंबर दैट I discuss the dead stock issues in a fixed roof or floating roof tank. Here is a normal fixed roof tank which is having a discharge line and receipt line. When we make the stock card we generally measure the liquid height which is from this point to this point and make a stock cord but this is a total product available in the tank this total product you cannot remove because of this reason the height of the discharge line so it is all necessary to understand what is the pumpable and what is the dead stock these tanks are made as per the api 650 to determine the pumpable in a fixed roof tank it is very easy measure the height from this point to this point which you can measure from the outside let us say it is a x and add up up to 15 mm on top of it 10 to 15 mm on top of it but the question arises why 10 to 15 mm you must have seen in any water drain or any place where the suction is happening means product is going out from this place there is a swell movement created here like in a water you must have seen the water is started rotating near the suction point so when this swell movement is created this swell movement will allow the air to go into the discharge line which will in turn go to your pump and any air which is going to your pump may damage damage mechanical seal of the pump or have the starvation to the pump may get damage your impeller and in turn at the gantry when you are loading a truck it may get your uh, flow meter may get give a erroneous reading so that is why a general thumb rule up to 10 to 15 mm you should allow and this acts as per the api 650 if you will see it is always up to 65 cm or 650 mm so whenever you are making the stock cord please take care measure this height and take care of the 10 to 8 10 to 15 mm and reduce this dead stock and this dead stock let me tell you it is always available in the tank it is not going anywhere because in the next parcel when you will receive this dead stock will added up to the volume received by you Let us see the dead stock situation in other tank, which is a floating roof tank. What is a floating roof tank, and why it is being used in the oil industry? In the floating roof tank, it is generally used for a highly volatile product. Here, it is a floating roof. is a pantone type floating roof there is a floating screen also this pantone type floating roof and this is what is the product level and this product level will go little higher because of the weight of the roof w and the buoyancy force here that is how it flows because these two factor balance themselves i will keep cover up this uh, what is the roof correction factor in some other video but here we are discussing on the dead stock level so let us discuss this this floating roof always have a lags so this floating roof will never get settled down on the bottom of the tank it will have the lag and when the roof will reach to this level then the leg will get rest on the bottom of plate of the tank there are two leg position one is a low leg and another is a high leg 
These tanks are again designed as per the API 650. Low leg is up to 1.45 meter and high leg is up to 1.85 meter. Low leg position you can see in your design document or whenever you open up the tank you can measure the low leg position and high leg is generally kept at 1.85 because average height of the human being is considered as a 1.85 meter. So when a high leg is also considered as a maintenance leg. So whenever it is in a maintenance leg and person enter into the tank he should be in a comfortable position to stand up inside the tank. But the disadvantage of the floating roof tank you should not go beyond this low leg position if your tank is in set in a low leg position. So dead stock blockage is 1.45 meter or it may be plus minus something. In a fixed roof tank we have seen x plus 10 to 15 means 65 centimeter plus 15 that is up to 80 but in a floating screen or floating roof tank it is up to 1.45 meter so there is an additional stock blockage in the floating roof or floating screen tank but why we are using the floating roof or floating screen tank because of one simple reason these tanks the roof is always touching to the top surface of the gasoline or PMS or petrol. By touching the top, top level of the gasoline, it is not allowing to evaporate the product because the, in the gasoline, petrol or PMS, the evaporation rate depends on the exposed surface area. If suppose this is what is the exposed surface area. From every place it will get evaporated. But if your roof is touching on top of it, then there won't be any atmosphere air available and it will not allow to evaporate. So only possibility of the evaporation is this place and this place, which is 200 mm this side and 200 mm this side. But here again we are sealing the by using the rim seal. So, we are restricting the evaporation loss from here. So, that is how is the, that is what is the advantage of the floating roof tank. But the disadvantage is your dead stock blockage is high. Generally speaking, floating roof or floating screen tank should not be offloaded quite often. Because once you offload the roof, then in the next receipt you have to be very careful so that your roof will not get stuck or damaged at the time of receipt. There are many incidents where the roof has got stuck or damaged. Until unless you are seeing he, yes your next parcel is not coming for a long then it is better always offload the roof and take out the product and realize the money value from this place to this place and move away with it. But yes, you have to incur a higher stock loss. But if you are, par you are expecting a parcel very soon, then let us not uh, offload the roof here. So that is what is all about the dead stock in a fixed roof or a floating roof tank. One oil professional should always remember what is the total stock, what is the pumpable stock and what is the dead stock. Let me tell you one thing. People that get confused about the dead stock like it is gone, it is lost, it is not that way. Dead stock is a stock which is always available in your tank which you cannot pump out. So that is what is all about on this video. Friends, thank you for listening to me. I am thankful for you all who have subscribed my channel. Keep subscribing, keep viewing and encourage me to post further more video on various topics on the downstream oil industry. Thank you very much.